On today's episode, we're gonna talk about how to avoid depreciation. So the truth is that you can minimize the amount of depreciation, but you cannot fully avoid it. And the reason is because you're buying a vehicle. A vehicle loses value. If you were buying a house, that's a different story. It can, it can gain value. Uh, but I'm going to give you a few uh, different ways that you can uh, reduce it. So the first thing that you need to do is not buy a new car. Uh, a new vehicle, as soon as you drive it off the lot, it's going to lose about 10% of its value. So that's a killer right there. So don't buy a new vehicle if you are trying to avoid um, losing that much value uh, because of depreciation. The second thing that I'm gonna uh, tell you is don't buy a high-end brands such as Range Rovers or uh, BMWs. Those type of vehicles are gonna lose a lot more value at the beginning. They're, they're gonna depreciate at a higher rate than a regular vehicle. And then the third thing that I'm gonna give you is to find uh, what we call the sweet spot, to find where the vehicle uh, intercepts with the repairs, you know, because when you buy a new vehicle, you're not going to spend much money on repairs, if, if any. Uh, but when you buy a used vehicle, it already lost uh, all of the depreciation that was going to, but then you're going to have to spend a lot of money on repairs. So you have to find that sweet spot. And that sweet spot, it's around uh, when the vehicle is two years to maybe eight years old, that's the sweet spot. And I'll say between 20,000 20, miles to 95,000 miles. That's the sweet spot of the vehicle where you're going to avoid uh, the most depreciation on it. Oh.